How's it going guys? TJ Bennett here and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be looking at three data types that use decimal numbers. Float, double, and decimal. Starting with float, float variables have a size of 4 bytes and can go 7 digits beyond the decimal point. The syntax for a float will look like this. Let's create a float variable and call it number and assign it this value. With float values, you have to put an F at the end of the number. It can be lowercase or capital. Of course, data types can be used in declaring methods as long as it returns a value of the same type. Next we have double. Double variables have a size of 8 bytes and can go 15 digits beyond the decimal point. The syntax for double will look like this. We can alter our number variable to be a double. With double values, it's optional to use the D suffix. Lastly, we have decimal. Decimal variables have a size of 16 bytes and can go 28 digits beyond the decimal point. The syntax for decimal will look like this. We can alter our number variable to be a decimal. With decimal values, you must use the M suffix. If it's very important to have the most precise results, say if you're working with money in a bake application, using the data type decimal will be your best solution because it is the most precise. But the data type decimal uses more resources in your program. For a lightweight data type, you would want to use a float. When displaying these values, each data type contains a two-string method. You can provide a parameter that can format the value in different ways. For instance, if I provide quotations 0.00, .00 quotations as a parameter, it rounds the results two places beyond the decimal point. If I provide quotations C quotations as a parameter, this stands for currency and it formats it the same way but adds a dollar sign in front of the value. For more information on formatting numeric strings, check out the description below. If you're following along in the series, update your wallet and prices in your vending machine app to use numbers that have a decimal point. If you want to be notified each time I make a video, feel free to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you're notified each time I upload a video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.